Now, I do not understand why this video is done on the internet already, so I'm going to go ahead and make one for you guys. This is uh, another Anycubic Ace Pro color changer unit. And as you can see, brand breaking new. It has the tubes. And these are the special components that comes with it. I'll take out this packing. Yeah, so check out the packing list. I was worried about this. I wasn't sure if it had the anti-blocking module, the screws and everything like that. I have everything I need. Um, this is to go with my first Ace Pro that I have here. So we're gonna go over uh, setting it up and making them work together. All right, let's go ahead and take this out of this white bag. Bam. All right, looks like everything is here from the packing list. We should have everything that we need, right? Wrong. We're gonna need this guy right here. This is something that I printed from the Maker Online, um, I guess app, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, if you have the Anycubic Slicer, which I recommend, um, they have what's called eight filament hub adapters, right? So taking a look at it right now, we have one. You know, normally you would just feed the, the four tubes through here, and that would be from your four filament changer. Um, we need two of them because now we're dealing with eight. So um, they have many different people work hard to create these. Um, Go ahead and just print you any, uh, anything should work. And we want to connect it to this guy. Well, I think I'm upside down, to this guy. So we need two of these to go inside of here. And we're gonna unscrew this guy here so we can connect them both side by side. All right, so we don't need these two screws here because that's what we use to connect this piece, this reader here. Uh, to the frame of the 3D printer, but uh, it's not necessary because we're not going to use this. We only need this right here, this little rectangular piece. I'll take it off right now using my trusty screwdriver. Uh, get you one of these. These are very, very useful. I, I've had this for like almost four years now. It's so handy. Yep. <laughs> Number two. All right, so I did it with one hand, giggity. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. Bam, that's what we need. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Take out the two screws. All right, we went ahead and removed it. And there it is, there it go. No, we can go ahead and take these out of the tubes. You know, to do that, you're gonna push this black um, sealer inwards and then take out the tube. It's not necessary, but I'm a little annoyed at it. I'm kind of annoyed, so I'm gonna take them out. Ah, I changed my mind. Okay, you also wanna make sure that your filament can fit through here. Make sure there are no snags, tugging, blah, 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 you know. You know something? If you look closely, you can see right through the holes. So there shouldn't be any obstruction. Okay, so we have the old one over here, the new one right here. So the idea is to have them side by side fit into the slots. You can see the two outputs there. Uh, make sure it's grooved side down so they can sit nice and flush. And then we're going to screw them in using the screws that we took out earlier. Okay, and even though this is a 3D print that wasn't technically threaded, uh, you can see the screws will actually connect with the back there and give you a nice solid uh, connection. So let me go ahead and take care of the last one. All right, go ahead and apply a decent amount of pressure so that it catches. All right, take a look at that. That looks nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, connect this bad boy bam look at that we just have to put those two screws that we took out from earlier and uh, shout out to whoever made this I'll try to find you but maker online makes it a little hard to uh, find people and profiles and stuff and you can see it's not getting in the way of the cords so we're ready to rock I need to stop saying that 
Okay, so slight miscalculation. Recall when this older one was actually in here, it was held by the two screws. So I put the two screws here uh, just for right now until I go to Amazon and get the 2.5 uh, millimeter screw heads. Um, I'm going to take out the two in the middle and put them here just for right now until I can get those screws. I don't have any right now. Yeah, it's still pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Hmm. All right, good. All right, let's go ahead and put the two screws in and we're almost done. Oh, and so the two screws that actually came with this guy here that goes here and here, they're actually the same size. They will fit in the hole, but you may have to cut them. And I, I, you might not want to ruin two perfectly good screws. Uh, they will protrude out the back of this guy here. So uh, if you want to use them, go ahead, uh, make sure you cut them to length. Okay, go ahead and one by one insert these tubes. Okay, so here's the back of the other Ace Pro, and you can see that it has four slots. So that signal cable you have, make sure you use the one with the four slots, and we're gonna put it right back there. All right, so I went ahead and uh, connected that cord to the previous color changer, and here's the new color changer. We're gonna plug it up, we should be able to read this on the 3D printer screen. Go ahead and put the new tubes inside of the new uh, color changer. All right, go ahead and plug it up and we may need to update. <clears throat> All right, so let me show you guys something. So I'm trying to click on ACE2, it says, please connect the ACE2. Let me go ahead and switch it on. You try to click it again. Yeah, you hear the wheels turning. Uh, bam! It's waiting for some spools. So we got it pretty much. We're going to do a test print very soon. All right, just put some green filament. And that's at number four. And let's go ahead and close that up. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's feeding it right through that tube. Okay, you can see that we have ACE2 highlighted. Let's go to that number four and just click on green. Hit okay. All right, um, I know it's not exactly the same one, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll catch that later. Okay, so here's their app. It's based on Orca Slicer. This is their own port, Anycubic Slicer Next. Go ahead and click on that sucker, and I'm gonna show you guys where I got that 8 filament hub from. So there's the 8 filament hub that I downloaded. Um, you can go to the Maker Online tab. And there it is. Shout outs to you, bro. Um, here's his name, or her name. Um, yeah. Props to you. All right, go on ahead and uh, click on the settings menu and go to where you can see your prints information, ACE1, ACE2, we want to click on ACE2, go ahead and, can you even see that, go ahead and click confirm, it says firmware update, let's just go ahead and do that, alright, alright, what's good about the slicer is that if you went on the 3D printer screen and added your filaments that way, uh, you can go ahead and hit this little fancy synchronize filament list from ACE Pro button, Go ahead and click on continue sync and it brings all of your filaments all of your colors from your ace pro 1 and your ace pro 2 remember that green bam i think we're in business i went ahead and went to future 360 and just made this little rectangle that's 0.4 millimeters tall so that it's going to require two filament changes go ahead to slice plate and we're going to go over here to the side so right at layer one, I'm going to choose something from the first Ace Pro. Uh, you choose black. And then right up at layer two, we're going to go ahead, right click on that plus. We're going to go to change filament. And we're going to choose that green. 
and this is just going to be a little test to see if they can communicate and see if we're successful. Go ahead and hit slice plate, and we're going to do remote print. I'm not going to do uh, bed leveling or um, or anything like that. And, uh, and off camera, I tested to see if the dryer was working, and it's working. So, hmm, curious. Yeah, I guess it'll do both of them, yeah. Anyway, start print. Alright, it just completed the black square. And now we're gonna wait on the green. Alright, green is next. <laughs> now, you may have to give it a little push. I had to give it a little push just now because it just wasn't quite strong enough, I guess, because the spool is relatively new or something. I don't know. All right, it's looking good to me. Yep. There it goes. That is it. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, like, comment, and subscribe if this video will help you out. If this is the first time you've ever seen someone set up a two Ace Pro system with eight colors, um, hit that like and subscribe button. Alright, peace out. And this was for the Anycubic S1 combo. Plus another Ace Pro I got from Amazon.